So hello everyone. Well, assalamu alaikum. This is me, Tasmin Tayyiba Tanisha, and today we've got the greatest, the one and only, the goat, Mr. Safun Mustafa. So, sir, will you please tell us a few words, like um, about your feeling about the video? Yeah, I think it's gonna go great. Uh, I have faced you many times in the interview <laughs> sessions before, and hopefully this will be the best one out of all. All right, yeah, inshallah. So I've got some questions for Sir, and we'll see his response. So, well, my first question is: Can you tell me the main importance of learning English, and why is it important for like job and interview sessions? Yeah. See, uh, I have got two perspectives. Uh, number one is you need to learn English first of all, is because of for your own development, that's number one. And number two is to comprehend other things. Let's say what the native speakers are saying, because if you're not able to understand or comprehend, then there's actually, you won't be able to answer their questions, number one, and your work efficiency will be very low. So you know it very well because you have done many Google courses and you also know the importance of learning English. So in terms of international courses, certifications, all sorts of work, we need English. All right. Yeah, that is absolutely right. And then um, my next question would be that, you know, there are like four skills, mm. um, which is listening, speaking, reading and writing. So can you please tell me um, where and when do we need those skills and why? OK, listening and speaking, I've already told you that mm -hmm. yeah, in order to understand and for your own development, you ne need listening and speaking. But reading and writing, very important thing that is for example, let me give you a funny answer. So in coachings, various coachings, you see there are many aunties sitting <laughs> in the ground floor, right? So for example, I want to write mm -hmm. something in order to convince them to come to Tesla Bangladesh, the best English language center. So my writing will invite them. So my duty is to persuade mm -hmm. them, right? So that's why I think good writing is very much important. and. Good reading will help you to advance, yeah. go, uh, go further in your friends. Right? So let's say if you have got a very high reading speed, that time you'll be able to, you know, do work very quickly compared to others. Okay, so yeah, that's basically it. All right, and can you please tell us the biggest difficulty you faced while learning English? Uh, biggest difficulty, okay, that is... English is very confusing, right? Yeah. So, see, the, cap uh, the plural mm -hmm. of tooth is teeth, yeah. but the plural of booth is not beat. Yeah. It's boots, right? Mm. But the confusion, I mean, various sounds, different kind of pronunciation, different rules. This is the most, uh, I believe, the toughest part in English. All right. OK. And then my last question is, you know, you you have teached kids and adults. So what is the hardest thing about teaching kids and the hardest thing about teaching adults? Hardest uh, thing of teaching kids is able to control them, number one. And hardest thing um, while teaching adults, I would say, is, you know, when you are young compared to them, yeah, yeah, the yeah. students. So some of their perspectives, how they see you, mm -hmm. that will matter. And, you know, a bit of judging and these things. Yeah. But if you are, you know, people who have knowledge, they dominate. They are the speaker and the rest who don't have knowledge, they are the audience. Right. Yeah. So, Alhamdulillah, I have dominated uh, by my knowledge. Uh, and moreover, it's a great feeling that also the adults respect me and they address me as sir. So yeah, uh, initially I faced this difficulty, but as time went on, I overcame it. All right, thank you so much for your answers. It was very phenomenal. And well, dear viewers, with that being said, we'll end this interview session right here. Hope you all enjoyed. And yeah, see you next time. Allah Hafiz.